Hello, Capricorn. So this is a reading that I got for you guys for the last two weeks of November. So I got the Chariot in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, along with the um, Temperance card. Both these cards came out together. The Magician and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I'm seeing a lot of stuff happening for you guys for the last two weeks. It's going to be really fast and it's going to be stuff that you manifested. Um, it's kind of like the saying... Be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you wish for. Because <laughs> I'm seeing somebody delivered. Um, and I feel like what the card is trying to say is very, like, t take your time with it, but also tread lightly, okay? Because I do get this energy, like, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you ask for. Just be careful of the situation, okay? Because I do get the Ten of Cups in reverse as the last position. So you probably have this, you get this, and then you feel emotionally unfulfilled later i don't feel like it's going to be in the last two weeks but i'm probably seeing like in a couple of months couple of years you're feeling unfulfilled about it okay and this is pertaining to love okay pertaining to your love life so probably you have manifested somebody into your life who fit the criteria and you realize later it's not showing now i'm just it's like giving me more like a predictive like in a future that you're not going to say that's what you want later okay um so that's what i'm pretty much getting now the signs that you might be dealing with you might be dealing with the aries sagittarius strong sagittarius um leo cancer capricorn another capricorn gemini okay now for the romance angels i got soulmates um express your love let go of control issues okay so with soulmate I feel like a lot of you guys manifested a soulmate for you. Um, but I feel like this soulmate may have some may have some issues a little bit, okay? Um, with Express Your Love, I feel like you're really open to them. I feel like they're beginning to open up to you. But with let go of control issues, this person might be a little bit controlling, okay? Or, again, this could be like you manifesting something and you're not ready for it. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. I just, I'm just getting an energy like, be careful what you ask for, okay? Now, when I clarify soulmate, I got the Ace of Pentacles in the verse and the Hermit, okay? So, yeah, I feel like this person is going to seem like a great catch for you, okay? But the thing with them, I feel like they still have unresolved issues, and I feel like later you're going to find out about it. Now, when I clarify, express your love, I got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, I feel like this person, you're going to start seeing everything about them, the good, the bad, and the ugly, later. Um, I feel like it's not going to really show itself in the last two weeks. I'm just seeing later. I keep on getting, like, later. And when I clarify, um, let go of control issues, I got Eight of Swords in reverse. So that's what I'm getting from the Ten of Cups in reverse. When you find out this side about them i feel like you are going to kind of you're gonna kind of let go of let go of wanting desiring rather than needing okay because i feel like your wants are going to be different than what you need in the future now for the oracle spread i got uniquely myself enlightenment power and creative concluding okay so i feel like this person is a positive change for you okay this is someone who will accept you for who they are and they want you to accept them for who they are who they is too okay um but the thing with them i feel like they do still have some unhealed they have their unhealed side to them their shadow side to them okay and with alignment power i feel like this connection is going to be very um telepathic um, when you think about calling them, they're calling you. <laughs> you have dreams about each other. It's going to be a very spiritual connection. That's what I'm getting. And I got creative concluding. However, I feel like sometime you're going to feel like you either need your space from them. Or you're going to feel like this person is kind of like depleting you somehow, some way. Okay. Now, when I clarify Ace of Swords in reverse... I have the Six of Cups in the verse, 
the Wheel of Fortune reverse, and the Hangman. So I feel like this is just past energy. Um, I don't feel like this is relating to your person. But pertaining to your past, I feel like you let go of it. You were stuck in that situation for a long time. And due to you going through those low moments in that relationship, it's like you made it be known that you want to manifest someone else. And I feel like the universe is actually going to give that to you. Or I already have given that to you. Now, when I clarify the Queen of Wands, I got the Page of Cups in the verse, the Five of Swords in the verse, the Moon in the verse, and Emperor. So, yeah, I feel like you did meet someone who's at your type of level. But the thing with them, I feel like they still have unresolved issues. With the Moon in the verse, I feel like they still have some things that are their shadow self, and they're trying to work on it, but sometimes it prevails. Sometimes it conquer and it succumb their power to um, to heal from it, okay? But it's like they're trying their best to not show it as of right now. Now, when I click for the Ace of Wands and the Temperance, I have the Page of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. So yeah, this is what I'm getting. I feel like with this person, this person is going to give you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness, a lot of love. But at the same time, I feel later, not right now, you may experience through your swords. You may experience heartbreak in this relationship. And I'm not getting like their party per se. I'm getting like about who they are because they're still healing. Okay. Um, it's like you're going to find out about this. Okay. Um, you're going to find out about their traumas. You're going to find out about, about their past through how they're going to behave towards you later. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Now, when I clarify the magician, I got the nine of swords in the verse, the five of pentacles in the verse, and the six of wands. So, yeah, I feel like for the moment being, and for quite some time, everything was going to feel good. Everything felt like, damn, this is a success. Everything is good. Okay, you're not worrying about nothing. And then they have like a random moment. Okay, so again, I feel like this person went through stuff. Like they went through traumas. Okay, and they're trying their best to overcome it, to heal from it. But at the same time, you're going to see their moments when they, you know, they can't, they can't have a facade anymore. I mean, like, um, they can't have that basically. Now, when I clarify the Ten of Cups in the verse, a facade, I mean, because <laughs> I'm, um, I'm Haitian, so we like to say facade. But um, with the, when I clarify the Ten of Cups, I got the Nine of Pentacles in the verse, the Nine, um, the Nine of, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse as well, and a Two of Wands in reverse. So yeah, with this situation, I feel like you're gonna realize they're they're working in progress, okay, um, working progress. But it's like you can help them out, okay? But at the same time, I feel like it's going to come with a cost. And I feel like the cost is really understanding their flaws. And sometimes sometime seeing the negative side, okay? So this person may have anger issues. Um, this person may have mental issues as well. Okay, but I don't feel like this person's a bad person. I just feel like this person went through a lot in their life and they're trying to overcome it, but sometimes you're gonna see that. Um, if that does happen in the future, is what I would advise is basically don't have those, what's called again, those um, emotional withdrawals. Don't have those codependency because I feel like it can get to codependency if you guys don't have your own lives. If you focus all your energy on to one another, okay? Now, when I clarify the chariot and reverse, I have the eight of wands in reverse, the judgment, and the five of cups in reverse, okay? So, yeah, I feel like with this situation, this person was all the time meant to be in your life. So, for some of you guys, you really was practicing law of attraction. You really manifested this person into your life. But I feel like it was at the wrong time because you're not 100% at the level of growth just yet they're growing but they're not at that level and i feel like some of you guys manifested this person right in the middle <laughs> and it's like you gotta 
experience, you know, the, the negative side of them, okay? But I'm not saying they're a bad person. I feel like this is a soulmate. It's just like the timing is kind of off, okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting, okay? So that's the reading that I got for you, Capricorns. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.